Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing the Puffy Cloud Border Dies and the new Rainbow Die. I love these dies so much, so let's go ahead and check them out. Here are the Puffy Cloud Borders. We have three sizes, and the reason we did that is depending on your scene, you might want small, medium, or large, especially if you're using little tiny stamps or bigger images. So here I wanted to show you that you can do the, the die state across, but you can also put it at an angle to get cool different looks for your clouds. So here now you can see all three ready to go through my die cut machine. And once I put them through the die cut machine, you can see the great looks that they all give. I just love that large one. It might be my favorite. And you can see that you could even use all three sizes together because when you layer them together, you get some pretty cool puffy cloud looks for sure. Another thing that I love is that these clouds could either come from the bottom of your card or they could come from the top of your card too, depending on what kind of scene you're creating, either sky or ground. Now here is the rainbow die. I love rainbows. I'm an 80s girl. I love Lisa Frank stickers. You know, I just had to have a rainbow die. So here you can see all of the pieces cut out for the rainbow. And one of the things I like about this set is you could, for example, remove the smallest bit to get kind of a different look, or you could even remove the tallest part of the rainbow and get a smaller rainbow, depending on what your project needs. Now one of the ways to color these rainbows would be to use markers or watercolors or distress inks, anything like that to color white colored cardstock. So here I'm using a Copic marker and I'm making sure to go around all of the outside edges too because that's going to give it a really nice finished look which really makes it pop on that white background. And so here you can see once you can fill the other pieces in, coloring them orange and yellow, etc., and get a great look that way. But for this card, I really wanted to use colored cardstocks in bright primary colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rainbow out of all of these different pieces of cardstock. And now I've got all my pieces, and you can see I kind of cheated once I got down to the smaller pieces. I didn't need to cut as much of the rainbow to get that one little piece. Now I want to go ahead and start setting a scene. So I'm using our spring showers dies, which are a great combination with uh, the puffy cloud border dies. And now I've got all of these pieces ready to go. And I am going to be recreating a version of a shard card by Shari that I just love. She did hers with watercolors, which were gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to go with the bright primary cardstock to get kind of a different look with the same idea. Now here you can see I'm trimming down my clouds. I made them really long to start with so that I could pick the perfect height, mark where I wanted it, and then trim it down. And now you can see this scene kind of starting to create here. So I am gonna use the You Brighten My Day sentiment from the Summertime Charm set, and I will layer that onto the bottom cloud piece. Now I'm going to start with the smallest part, the purple part of my rainbow, because I want to make sure that the smallest part both goes inside of the clouds and off of the edge of the cardstock. So I needed to start with the smallest one and let the, all the other pieces then fit into that. And that kind of dictates the angle of my rainbow. So now I can layer all of my different pieces. And I like using liquid glue for this because you kind of need to move them around to make sure they fit perfectly and liquid glue really helps with that. And I just love the look of the rainbow going into the clouds. Now here I wanted the sun to look like it was coming from behind the rainbow, but I forgot to glue the sun down first. So what I decided to do was just use a pencil to mark what parts of the sun I wanted to be behind the rainbow. And I just chopped those right off and now it looks great. So I glued the sun down, and now I'm gonna use one of the stitched rectangle dies to cut my seam here, because I wanna have that stitched edge kinda of go all the way around too. So now I can peel that die off, and then I can also add the stitched edge to the bottom of my sentiment cloud piece too. The reason I did that one separately is I wanna pop that one up on foam adhesive later. So now that that's ready to go, I'm going to layer one of the spring showers clouds just for some extra poofiness and uh, right behind there. And I've got some foam adhesive on the back of the You Brighten My Day one. And so that'll kind of help it all stick together and give it some nice cloud dimension. And now I'm just layering it on a card base with a nice gray border all the way around. 
And then here I just wanted to show you kind of the other way I love to use the clouds, and that is for little scenes with grass, so for the clouds coming from the top of the card. It's great for sentiments and for just making cute little scenes like this one with the new party animal set. And now here is a look at Shari's gorgeous watercolor version. I am so in love with it. And here's a look at some more design team member cards. This is Yainea, and she created a night scene, which is totally brilliant. I love the idea. And Letitia used the rainbow to use for one of the scripty words. I think you could do this with a lot of the different scripty words that we have. Um, and I think the scripty hello is perfect with the rainbow. Shari created a really cute magical scene for her unicorn. I love that you can make these clouds of any color. You can get really creative with it. And Nicole created a glittery masterpiece. I love those vellum clouds and all of the stars hanging around it. Nancy from L'Enfant Headquarters also created an adorable card using the Color My World sentiment that's going to be coming out soon. And I love that little heart that she added. And Lynette uh, made the rainbow look awesome with those Bon Voyage poofy clouds on either end. I just love the look of her background too. And then Kristen, also from Lawn Fun Headquarters, created this gorgeous card with the new Thinking About You border. I just love it. So this is Puffy Cloud Borders and Rainbow Dye. I love that you can use these both together or those clouds can be for any kind of scenes that you could create. And that rainbow just makes me so happy. And I can't wait to see what kind of cool and happy cards you guys create with these new products. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye! Thank you.